Hello Saints. Hope you're having a good week. Just want to touch base with you about a few things. Good things going on around the church. This last Sunday was good, wasn't it? Hearing from Yosef, thankful to him for opening up his heart and sharing and lots of responses from people about his story. It just underscores one of our chief values here and that is transparency and honesty. Just being real with one another as a community, a a spiritual family. So, man, it's good stuff to hear uh, the scriptures say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those that the Lord has redeemed from trouble. And so he gave testimony. The Lord has redeemed Yosef from trouble, and the Lord's going to be redeeming a lot of a lot of people, a lot of our friends, family members, colleagues. It's going to be uh, fun to watch what the Lord does in the coming days. Um, this Sunday, we're going to be back in Acts chapter 18, the opening 16 verses. And man, it is good stuff. We're just seeing in the book of Acts, uh, the ministry of Jesus passed on to his followers and uh, how they were devoted to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, to prayer, to uh, the simple evangelism, sharing wherever they went, and the Lord expanding his church. So we're going to see Sunday in Acts 18, a window into Paul's ministry and church planting in Corinth. It's going to be It's good stuff. All kinds of things in there. Tent making and power evangelism and a vision of Jesus and team ministry. Lots of good stuff there. And then in that context, we're going to hear from our Guam team. Hear a little bit about their trip and we'll have ministry time in response to that. A second thing is I just wanted to comment briefly about the rich weekend with Derek Morphew from South Africa. Those of you that were there know what I'm talking about. It was like a turbocharged kingdom theology weekend it was like having your face in a hydrant of truth for a day and a half it was awesome and we're grateful one of the fathers of kingdom theology and the whole vineyard movement over the last 45 years um really good to hear from him and just reminding us and even for the young people to hear that the vineyard movement is anchored in the biblical theology of the kingdom And a reminder to all of us, that was the message of Jesus. He came proclaiming and demonstrating the kingdom of God, the rule and reign of God in him, in his person, and then setting the oppressed free and transforming lives. That's our message, isn't it? To proclaim and demonstrate the kingdom. Now, over the weekend, on Friday night and Saturday, we were able to see some ministry being done that may have even been in a different style, Um, It was with some people that we didn't necessarily know. So I just wanted to address that again, because we want the fire of the Holy Spirit moving among us. We want the rivers, the torrents of God's presence to come. But even with fire and with rivers, there's boundaries and guides and irrigation that needs to happen. So there was a prophetic word given on Saturday, and I spoke with the gentleman and talked about it. And I think that's what we need to do is just in those moments, have conversation and be committed both to an openness, a cultivation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit and all their fullness, and at the same time, biblical order. So I want you to hear that from me, our staff, our leaders, um, our pastors are talking about this. We're committed to both of those. We're we're not control freaks and we don't want that because that the Lord... um, doesn't appreciate that and it's a difficult environment for Holy Spirit activity to happen if people are control freaks. That's not what we're talking about, but we are talking about having biblical order and pastoring and leading well and demystifying the moment by talking openly about it. So that's what we're committed to, following the scriptures and being humble and learning together. And there's no one among us um, who is fully mature in the things of the Holy Spirit and obeying the Bible fully. We all have room to grow, and I want to be growing until the day I die, learning the ways of the Holy Spirit, how to obey Scripture. So let's do that together. Another thing is groups. They're underway. Um, There's information online at allsaintsokc.org. There's a whole groups tab that you can click on and look at the different options. There'll be a printed catalog coming so you can look through. And the point of that is uh, to connect 
uh, with other brothers and sisters in Christ. We are a community of worship and formation on mission with Jesus, and we love to be together. And so we get to do that on Sundays and during the week uh, in one another's homes, and it's what we're devoted to just like they are in the book of Acts. Uh, church together, the assembly on a Sunday, the Lord's Day, and then we're the church uh, in the world during the week as well. So make time to get connected in a group. Lastly, I want to encourage you to be spending daily time with the Lord Jesus. Um, we have the privilege and the opportunity to open our Bibles every day, to sit at his feet, to listen to his word. Um, it's like physical fitness and nutrition. Um, it requires some work and God's grace is there to help us but we have to have that mindset of let's get spiritually fit. Let's have nourishing intake through the word of God so that we can grow. And it does take discipline and it does take work. It's not going to happen automatically. We've got to practice it each day. We talk about that farming mindset. We cultivate, we sow the seed, we water it, and then we reap a harvest. We sow the seed, we water it. And so we want to practice that around all saints. The grace of God is there to help us. And there's a simple plan to, I, I've shared with you to read the Bible. I, right now I'm reading the Psalms one day and then I'm reading from the book of Acts and I kind of rotate back and forth. I do little segments. I find an arrow prayer and I pray that and chew on it and talk to the Lord about it throughout the day. So let's be doing that from the youngest to the oldest at All Saints. There's Bible reading plans online at allsaintsokc.org. There's a menu to choose from. And then in our resource center outside the sanctuary, there's Bible reading plans so that you can get in the word every day. All right, friends, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit to be with you. And I would also encourage you as you read the Bible to pray the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me. We'll see you Sunday.